Hi guys, welcome back to Cooking with the Bearded Brits. Today we're going to make quail scotch eggs. So these are lovely little quail eggs, like this. We're going to drop them, we're going to cook them for two minutes and then we're going to peel them and wrap them in uh, minced meat. So I put them in a small coil like this, it's a lot easier to pull out. So first of all, we put them inside and just set my timer. Set it for two minutes, there we are, and drop in. Two minute timer. Okay, so we cooked the eggs for two minutes and we just peeled them and then we're going to coat them in flour, season them with salt, some uh, egg wash, season with salt, and some Japanese panko breadcrumbs, season with salt as well. You can use any breadcrumbs, you can make your own as well. Then we're going to wrap them around with this, this chicken mince here, which I've mixed with paprika, thyme, salt, pepper, onion, and garlic. So what you need to do is take a little bit about the ping pong ball size in your palm of your hand, make it flat. Okay? Then take an egg which has been coated in flour. This helps the egg stick to the meat. Put it inside and then slowly, gently wrap the mince meat around the egg. You can use any mince meat you like. You can use lamb, beef, pork, chicken, whatever you like, turkey. It all depends on what, what you want to do. Like today I'm using chicken and that's it. Then once you have the chicken mince like that, we're then going to egg wash it. And then we're going to put it in Japanese breadcrumbs. It should be left with something like that. You should be left with something like this. Nice, pan let them in the fridge now to set and form, they'll fill up a little bit in the fridge and then we'll fry them later. Everyone, so we're gonna serve our quail scotch eggs with a lemon mayonnaise, fresh mayonnaise, nothing from a jar. So take a nice kitchen cloth like this, roll it in a sausage shape, okay? Place a mixing bowl on top of it and this stops the mixing bowl from moving around when you're whisking it. Take it, take a, a teaspoon of Dijon mustard inside. Take a splash of vinegar. And take one egg yolk. I need to whisk it up. Whisk it up. You see how the mixing bowl is staying in one place? Normally it'll be going all over the place. It's staying in one place and I'm using one hand. The other hand will be used later and I'll explain why. Take some sunflower oil and whisk it slowly until so it's all emulsified with the rest of the ingredients. This will be a mayonnaise. And this is how you make a really simple mayonnaise. You don't need to buy anything from the jar other than the mustard. And being fresh, you know exactly what ingredients are going in here. No colorings, preservatives, none of that stuff. Just fresh ingredients. If you add all this oil at one go, you'll split it. If you need to add it slowly like this. Add it until it comes a thick like mayonnaise texture. Like so. There you have the mayonnaise. And now I'm gonna put it with a bit of salt. And then because this is a lemon mayonnaise, we're gonna use some lemon juice. Okay, so now I'm ready to fry them. So get your oil nice and hot. If you've got a fryer, it's even better, or an air fryer. I'm just gonna do it in a pan with oil. So place your scotch eggs inside the oil. Be careful, it's very, very hot, huh? These probably take around two to three minutes. Obviously, if you've got pork mince, it might take a bit less time. If you've got beef mince, again, it might take a bit less. These have got chicken, so they might take a bit longer. Okay, so they've had their two minutes. These actually take a little bit longer. They take about two, two and a half minutes, actually. Um, so you see how golden brown they are. Drain them away from the oil onto a, onto a tray with paper to take up the excess oil. And the trick with any fried items, okay, is that you should season them as soon as they come out of the fryer. The reason why is the oil is still wet, therefore the seasoning will stick to them directly. Okay? So they've come out, I'm going to turn the stove off. Here is some salt. 
And I'm also going to use this, which is a bit of paprika. Just for colour. A bit of extra flavour. It's not compulsory, but again, I think it looks nice. Gives it a nice little red colour. And then we're going to plate it up. And this is sort of sharing, this is this is not a portion. You can eat these hot, hot or cold. Traditionally they're served cold, but you can also eat them hot. There you have it. Quail Scotch eggs with lemon mayonnaise. Enjoy.